Greetings, welcome to another segment of Recovery TV. Today I'm going to deliver a message specifically to the betrayed partners and spouses who've experienced infidelity in their relationships. That's coming up. Welcome back to Recovery TV. Today I want to talk a little bit about infidelity and couple relationships, but I want to speak specifically to the betrayed partners and spouses in this segment. But before we begin, if you're new here and you're not a subscriber, I'd like you to please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring that bell so that you're notified as we post more videos. Let's begin. If you're in a relationship where you have experienced infidelity, and in particularly if you're the wounded spouse in that relationship so in other words your spouse or partner has betrayed you they've uh, cheated on you or they've been unfaithful in the relationship then you're well aware of how deep that pain runs and people who haven't experienced that uh, really can't speak or understand completely what it's like to be on the receiving end of an affair and so there's a lot of things that are going on for you that's painful, that's hurtful, and that you're trying to make sense of. You might be having a hard time making sense of that. And so that's why I wanted to do this video today and speak directly to you, maybe help you make a little bit more sense out of your situation. It might do a little bit to put your mind at ease or at least give you some direction for healing and recovery. The first thing I want you to know is that you are not going crazy. So a lot of the spouses I work with that have been wounded by an unfaithful partner or spouse or a cheating partner or spouse, uh, there's so much going on for them in the realm of pain, emotional pain and hurt, not understanding certain things, or they feel like they're going crazy. They feel like they're going out of their mind. You know, they, they can't control their emotions. Um, they're constantly paying attention to what their spouse or partner is doing, what they're up to, not trusting them. Uh, they feel like they're an emotional mess and a burden to their uh, spouse or partner or even friends and family. And they just sometimes will say, I just feel like I'm going crazy and I'm here to tell you that you are not. Uh, those are very normal experiences for people who have been betrayed and with the proper care and attention over time that those experiences that you have will start to lessen and lessen as you heal and as you recover. So an important message for you to remember when you're thinking that you are that you're going crazy you're going out of your mind you're not you're experiencing something very normal when it comes to this tragic event that we call infidelity. The second thing that I want you to remember is that it's not your fault and so there's usually a lot of self-blaming that goes on. If I was only a better spouse, if I was a better partner, if I was a better lover, uh, was I, where was I not good enough? Where did I fall short? How did I fail you, that, you know, in such a way that caused you to go out and do this thing called cheating? And the answer is you did nothing. You don't have the power to drive someone into the arms of somebody else. We just don't have that power. Same thing uh, with alcohol, for example. We hear that a lot, that uh, she drove me to drinking, or he drove me to drinking, or she drove me into the arms of another woman, or he drove me into the arms of another man. And that simply is not the case. Uh, we don't have the power to do that. Now granted, some relationships aren't going well, and you can own your part in the relational problems, but cheating or being unfaithful is a choice that was made and it didn't have to be made in response to an unhealthy situation. But it's also important to remember that infidelity happens in good relationships too. And I recently did a video where I talk about this and I'll put a link to that right here as well, into the, as, well as the description area in this video below and you can watch that at your leisure. The third thing I want you to remember is that you're supposed to be a mess. This might be something that's very hard for you to understand or difficult for you to accept because you're not used to being a wounded person. You're not used to being this hurt or even emotionally debilitated. But this is actually a very normal experience for people who have gone through this type of situation. And if you don't accept or 
that you are hurt or that you are that wounded, then you're not going to address and take care of the wounds in the ways that you need to so that healing can take place. The fourth and final message I want to give you is that there is still hope. Because of the pain that you're experiencing, you might be questioning that. You might be wondering, can I ever trust this person again? Is there any hope that this marriage or relationship is going to survive this? And I'm here to tell you that it can and it often does. But I would encourage you to do your part to seek out the right kind of care and treatment for something like this. And if you're wondering where to find therapists in your area, I put a couple of links in the description of this video below to a couple of different therapist directories where you can search for therapists in your area that work specifically with this issue that you're dealing with. You're also welcome to visit our website and peruse the different services that we offer. I specifically want to bring to your attention the amazing Affair Recovery Couples Weekend that we host here periodically. And I'll put a link to that in the description of this video below. So once again, betrayed spouses, remember, you're not going crazy. It's not your fault. You're supposed to be a mess and there is hope for your relationships. Thanks for joining us and I hope to see you back here again next time.